Greetings, everyone. My name is Jason Barber, and I will be your professor for Physics 111 this semester. I'm very excited to get started. I'm going to show you around a little bit inside our Canvas course shell and talk to you about some things to make sure you're aware of at the beginning of the semester. So, as you can see here, this is our home page for this section. I can see a to-do list over here on the right, and you can see a menu here. Actually, there's a broader Canvas menu here. There's the course menu here. Um, there's a whole lot of things on this menu. The main things are inbox, uh, you might want to look at the calendar, and then on the course menu, really just modules, announcements, grades. That's really all you're going to need. All right. Uh, there's some information here. Um, you can check out when the quizzes and exams are scheduled. Uh, there's a link to my office hour, like the, the Zoom link for my office hours. And I'll show you where my office hours are scheduled in a moment. Uh, let's see, what else? That's the main thing from there. So we'll click on modules. There we go. And we come in and we've got a whole bunch of modules in here. So we have our first thing just getting started. This is where you're going to find the syllabus right in there. I'm also going to send it to you as an attachment, so you've probably already gotten that by now. Uh, this is where it's going to have my office hours. Required supplies for labs. All right, so this is an important one. Please click on that, and you'll see you're going to be doing some hands-on labs, and you're going to need some uh, materials that you may already have around your house, but you might need to go to the grocery store or the hardware store and, and buy a few things. Uh, it's really very, very minimal, um, but you do need to make sure you have some things on hand, like, you know, 60 of the same coin, or some aluminum foil, or a paint stirrer, things like that. Um, so there's, there's a, a number of things that you're going to need, so check that out. Other things that you're going to need, a computer. Uh, you can't do the whole course on your phone, at least I don't think that's possible. I um, definitely wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you're also going to need an external webcam. Okay, So an external webcam means a camera that is not part of your computer. It is separate. Okay, This here is an external webcam, and I can pick it up, and I can point it at my computer. Okay, Because it's not part of my computer. It's not like, here, I'll even show you. It's not the built-in webcam that's right here, built into my computer, okay? The one that you're looking at right now, or looking at me through right now, is an external webcam, all right? You can get them for as low as about $15, I think. And if you don't have one, I highly recommend going on to Amazon right now and ordering one or go to Best Buy or wherever and go ahead and get yourself an external webcam. That is going to be required. You have to have it. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. Uh, there might be some available at the library, uh, the AACC library for you to borrow. If you'd like to do that, let me know that as well. And we'll see if they have any available. All right, uh, so this is just an introductory module here, and we can close that up. And then we get to module zero, and you can see kind of the suggested dates on when to do it. Some of these deadlines are, are much later than that, but really you should be getting it done during this time period uh, because this is all kind of basic stuff and then we need to get into the real meat of the course. So I hope that you'll be able to get these things done as soon as possible. You can even start on them today. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to be using Expert TA. That's an online homework system. And I'll talk to you more about that in a moment. All right. Oh, at the end of module zero, there is a math skills assessment. It has a certain number of points associated with it, but really, uh, it doesn't count towards your grade at all. And I'm not even going to see it unless you want me to. So you take the assessment. Okay, it's like a quiz, kind of. Um, and then you grade yourself because I've given you the solutions, and you see how you did. And that will give you an idea of how much time you want to spend working on your algebra skills and your trigonometry skills. Okay? Or you could work on your algebra and trigonometry skills first 
and then go take the math skills assessment. That works fine too. Either way, you want to have some good algebra and trig skills because if, you, if you're not up to, up to speed on your algebra and trig, that's going to be a, a big hindrance in the course and that's one of the top two reasons why people don't pass the course. That and not having enough hours in their day uh, because they overschedule. Too many classes, too much work, too many whatever personal responsibilities, uh, just not having enough hours in the day. So make sure you have enough hours in your day. All right. Uh, module one is pretty small. And then module two, this is where we start to get into modules that look like our typical modules. There's an overview. Usually we don't have this, but that's just a one-time thing. There's a discussion board. There's a note packet. And this is where you're going to have some fill in the blank. You're going to look up some things in the textbook to fill in. You're going to answer some questions. You're going to watch some videos. You're going to do some problems. And that's, that's really going to be the heart of the learning process right there. You doing those note packets, checking your work in the videos, and so on. All right, additional resources. These are resources beyond the course, beyond your textbook, on some websites. And each module, I have links to very specific places for you to go. Um, you know, a lot of them go to like Khan Academy and Physics Classroom, but specific places within those sites not just to their front page, but to very specific sites. So take advantage of those resources. Uh, almost every module, we're going to have a lab. And starting with module three, you're also going to uh, create a video that goes along with that lab. Uh, just three minutes in length. Doesn't have to be fancy or professional, but uh, you'll see more information on that starting in module three. All right, as I mentioned, there's an expert TA assignment. Um, it's going to be associated with each module, and for most of the modules, you're going to do work in Expert TA, where you submit your answers, and you find out if you were right or wrong, and you get to try again with a slight deduction, uh, but you're also going to show your work. And showing your work, uh, actually, if you notice, it counts more than what's in the online homework system. So, strongly encourage you to uh, really understand what you're doing, because if you can show your work properly, and I, I put some uh, follow-up questions in the show your work page, you really have to click on this and see what work do I want you to show, what question, what follow-up questions do I want you to answer, and it's gonna be different each module. Um, each time there's a quiz, there's a quiz information slide, the actual quiz itself, and then you're gonna upload your work for the quiz. We will be using Honorlock for this course, that's a proctoring software, and uh, there's information on that in the uh, introductory module, module zero, and I encourage you to read all about that and see how you can get your external webcam set up. You're going to need to take your external webcam and have it over to the side in such a way that you can see a mirror. You're going to have to clear off all the stuff from your desk. I have another video that shows you how to do that, uh, so I won't go into too much detail, but I need to be able to see your face and your computer. And just one computer, not two like I have, not two monitors, uh, have a mirror, and I need to be able to see your desktop. So you have to actually get the, the external webcam a couple of feet over to the left of, or to the right either side of where you're uh, working. So, all right, so that tells all about a typical module. So things that you need to do are to uh, make sure you have supplies for lab, uh, but before that you need to have an external webcam. That's going to come up. Um, you know, in, in just a, a, about a week and a half or two weeks. So you have some time to order one and still have it come in, um, but you don't want to wait, okay? Don't wait on that. All right, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. I look forward to um, meeting with each of you on office hours through Zoom. Um, if you'd rather meet with me in person, I have in-person office hours as well on the Arnold campus. And, uh, I think that's it. Everybody have a great semester. And I'll talk to you soon.